Brian, the nor'easter is behind us. Now, through the storm, we unveiled the first ever Chasing News Venti box. The 20 box, it was good. Here was the problem. Uh, 20 boxes, I couldn't get through all of them, so we still got about 16 to go. What do you got? See how the shore fared in the big nor'easter? I headed to Seabright, which is in line someday to be the first town in New Jersey to slide completely into the ocean. Nothing quite so serious with this. A lot of water in the streets. It's always fun to stand at a flooded road and see who's gonna make it and who's not gonna make it. Two, three feet in some areas, but this is a town that's used to flooding. Flooding is a way of life here. You just have a seat, you wait for the water to go down. Now, remember this town was devastated by Hurricane Sandy. A lot of houses were raised and people like this gentleman were really happy that their houses are now way up high. I think this is the most water we've had since Sandy. When Sandy came through, we had, my house was on the street level and had about six foot of water in, in the living room. Now, overall, the Jersey Shore fared really well with the storm, which thankfully did not strike at a full moon or a new moon. Weather geek term of the day, it struck during a neap tide. Neep. I was trying to remember that this morning. I couldn't remember. And in the end, it was Neep. nothing so serious that you couldn't get through without just strapping a couple of hefty bags to your feet like this guy. I like the, like the look on the bags on the feet there. Yeah, you like tell that, me, huh? Tell me about that. I got news for you. They worked. I will say that, you know? Looks, improvising here? Looks a little hokey, but they did work. Now, seeing that you know so much about weather and meteorology, let me just ask you a serious question. Were the waves wavy? <laughs> <laughs> I think they were wavier yesterday. Wavier yesterday? That's what I thought. I came down here about an hour ago and they weren't quite as wavy. I'm not a meteorologist, I'm sorry. Did you want to get out there and tackle the waves? Uh, the wind is shifting and the waves are getting good right now. So right now. I was, was kind of wish I was somewhere else. It never right works now. out. Don't give Jerry any ideas. He will have you out this afternoon and that will be your segment for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of preparation is important for these kinds of storms. Beach erosion was another big issue. Mm -hmm. You just had major replenishment programs right. in Deal, Ortley Beach where you know roughly 70% of those dunes are gone just from this nor'easter. Mm -hmm. So it's another crack back at the shore. You gotta go back and replenish once again.